And he took out Saddam despite the whole world's opposition. And we find ourselves today in this quagmire. Let's be clear, friends. This war was not a mistake. This war was not mismanaged. This war was unjust, immoral, and illegal. A week before the war started, we told you to a question. Friends, let us not be fooled by these politicians coming to Iowa in the next year. John, John Kerry was no peace candidate in the year 2004. What he told us was he could fight the war better than George. The problems we face as a nation today were created by a bipartisan consensus mm -hmm. of both the Democrats and the Republicans. The arms race, the nuclear arms race, was a bipartisan effort. The Cold War, the war in which millions of third world peoples died and served at wars, was a bipartisan effort. The Vietnam War was a bipartisan effort. The 40 years of dirty wars in Latin America, where the U.S. backed and trained and kept in power Saddam-like dictators and human rights violators and murderers and butchers, was a bipartisan effort. Does the name the School of Americas, ring a bell. <laughs> Today's U.S. position as the singular world power with a military budget equal to the combined military budgets of all the nations in the world with U.S. military bases in over a hundred countries is a bipartisan effort. And do not be fooled by voting. Even if we had fair and open elections where every vote really counted and money did not buy an election, which is not the case, voting is nothing more than putting in your ante in the poker game of being a responsible citizen. And just like a poker game, your ante, your vote, is never enough to win. You've got to play the cards you dealt with, and you've got to put up a bet if you're going to win the pot of electoral politics in America. Simply getting elected will never be enough. They will need people like us in front of them, pushing them all the way to peace. The ancient wisdom of the Greek philosophers said it well. The first casualty of war is truth. Yeah. Yeah. If the truth mattered, we would not have been in this war in the first place. got us into this war in Iraq, and blood keeps us in it. Since the wars in Iraq, Iraq, and Afghanistan started, over 10,000 Iowans have left the state to fight in these wars of the empire. 10,000, friends, fathers, mothers, brothers, and sisters have left their families, their jobs, their communities, for months on end, hundreds have come back wounded, many of them physically, many of them mentally, from the brutality of killing and war making. And 50 so far have made the ultimate sacrifice and have come back in coffins. 
Go misled to. Go lied to. Their sacrifice must be respected. It was their collective human equity and personal sacrifice that won George Bush, the state of Iowa, in the presidential elections of 2004. Having the truth on your side, knowing the facts in history, is not enough. Hearts are changed, and bad policies reversed. When we in the peace movement start betting our lives on stopping this war and changing our nation's imperial global designs and bringing us back to being a true republic, one nation and the community of nations working together to rid the world of the scourge of war, of poverty and injustice.